And here's another example of how we use Newton's second law to solve problems like this. Uh, let's say we have a flatbed truck. We have an object sitting on the flatbed and it's not being tied down. And there is some friction between the block and the box, I should say, and the bed. Let's say the coefficient of static friction is 0.2. The mass is 4 kilograms. What is the maximum acceleration this truck can have so that the box will not slide off the bed of the truck? So we have to come up with all the forces acting on that box first. The first one to start with would be straightforward. It's simply the weight of the box pulling downward, which is mg. And of course, we have the normal force pushing back. That's th Newton's third law that says that there's an equal and opposite force pushing the opposite direction here, which is a normal force, which in magnitude is equal to mg. So I'll just go like this. The magnitude of the normal force is equal to the weight of the box. Since there's friction, there will be friction pushing the box to the right. So if, of course, if that wasn't the case and the truck would take off and accelerate, the box would simply stay in place, the truck would keep going, so that's not a good thing. So we have a friction force which is pushing to the right. Force friction. And of course that's the friction force that keeps the box on the flatback truck. And by definition the friction force is equal to the magnitude of the normal force times the coefficient of friction. Alright, which is given in this case we're talking about static friction. And that, of course, would allow the box to accelerate with the truck, but only to a certain extent. It can only offer so much force if the truck accelerates too fast. The friction force may not be enough to accelerate the box at the same acceleration as the truck itself. So now we use Newton's second law, which says that F equals MA. So F equals MA. And we're looking for the maximum acceleration. So we're going to write this as A equals F divided by m, and we're looking for the maximum acceleration, which is of course the maximum force that the friction can give you. So we'll write this as F max, which is equal to this quantity right here, because this represents the total force that can be given in terms of friction force. So now we're ready to plug that in. So we're going to go into head and plug that in here. So acceleration max is equal to the normal force times mu divided by the mass. And of course the normal force is mg, so that would be mg mu divided by the mass. And of course the mass cancels out, so the maximum acceleration would be g times mu. In this case, g is 9.8 meters per second squared, and mu is equal to 0.2, so this is equal to 1.96 meters per second squared, out to three significant figures. So 9.8 times 2, that's 18, 19.6, that would be correct. So that is how you find the maximum acceleration. Again, draw a free body diagram, recognize all the forces acting on the box. The force required to accelerate the box forward along with the truck has to be the friction force. The friction force definition is the normal force times mu. Of course, the normal force is equal in magnitude, opposite in direction to the weight. We plug that in here. Mg is the normal force times mu divided by m, which comes from the F equals ma uh, equation, Newton's second law, solve for the acceleration. And that's how you do that problem.